What's up? It's your boy Trappington back at you with another one. And you see the title? Ain't no cut on it. No clickbait. This is real, man. This is real. I've been trying not to make this video, I'm gonna be honest. I had this idea for really the whole summer because this is how my whole summer been going. Uh, I kind of hinted at it if you watch my DC video. About what's the, what's been going on, but um, yeah, man, I'm currently looking for a 95. I actually have an interview tomorrow, and um, I I, I didn't want to make this video, you know, because I was discouraged. I was down. I feel felt feel, you know, kind of like a failure, but. It's the life of a business owner. I'd be lying if I didn't, I haven't got the same advice, the same everything, you know. It's just starting a business and now looking for a job is, <laughs> it's different, man. It's different. It's different. Like, uh, if you ever play sports, it's like losing at the last second. Like somebody kicked that field goal in the game one. You know, that's how I feel right now. Um, this whole summer, uh, if y'all if y'all watch my videos early on, especially when I wasn't recording every day, it was because I was working a medical contract from I say. Really, the beginning of the year, I was working uh, as a third party for Red Cross, um, delivering blood and plasma and stuff to different hospitals. Uh, right as that was slowing up, I've got a medical contract, a uh, medication contract. And from May... No, last year. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Last year, I started the medication contract. January, I was doing... January of last year, I was doing... I started with the Red Cross. Well, I started back. I originally started 2021. Then, uh, basically, Regine when. In the medical field, well, I can't say the complete medical field, but in the medication medical field, it's all about contracts. And I think in a lot of industry, contracting industries, whatever the whatever it is, you know, you pick it, construction, whatever. It's a contract. You know what I mean? And um when the regime changes, when a company bids on a contract and they win and the company you work for loses. Is regime change. Sometimes you go with it, sometimes you don't. And uh with the Red Cross, that's what happened. But right as that slowed up last year, I got in with medication. Um, delivering medication. It started as a part-time thing and turned into a full-time thing. A, a great full-time thing. And it was great, man. I I mean, there's not much. I I believe I did a couple videos on it. Um, if you need one, want a full breakdown of it, you know, just leave a comment below. Let me know. I can do a full breakdown on it. But uh, I did that, and this upcoming end of June, beginning of July, I was working for a contractor through the medication. The matter, the contractor lost the contract um they lost the contract so i i put all my eggs in one basket there's no way else to say it there's no way to beat around the bush i put all my eggs in one basket and it's the second time i did it second time i did it so it's like Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Like 
Dang. Putting your eggs in one basket in this 1099 contractor business. This world. You can't put your eggs in one basket, man. You just can't, man. You just can't. You got to strike while the iron high and strike again. You know, you got to have the plan B, plan, plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, plan F. Like, you got to, you, you, you. <laughs> Yeah, man. Don't put your eggs in one basket, man. I, I can go on and on about the topic, but I'm not. Don't put your eggs in one basket. If you're a contractor, a business owner, you know, you getting one source of you have one client that you're really eating off of. You never know when that client can go switch, you know. And right as I was going for expansion, I lost the main source. I lost the main contract I had right as I was expanding into different things and opening up new avenues. Like everything y'all see me do this summer, um, the box trucking, the batteries picking back up. I've been doing batteries, but it, it comes and goes. All that was supposed to be a subcontract off. I wanted to hire my own contractors. I wanted to do the box trucking full time. Right as the box trucking, thank goodness the box trucking started, you know, but now it's on a hiatus because of of things out of my control. Nothing, nothing to do with me. What was that? Please went. Nothing to do with me. Just things out of my control and administration, you know. They're going through not a regime change. They're going through a contract change right now. So during that, you know, I'm not a nine to five worker. So until things are back settled, you know, I, I got to survive. I have to live. So currently looking for a nine to five. I have an interview slash, I guess, like a tryout out for, for a junk removal company. Something else I was wanting to do on my own as the medication was being steady i was expanding into that that was another avenue it's on hold now i'm not giving up on it uh i was down that's another reason why i didn't record this video i was really down beating myself up uh but i pushed through i still made videos this summer i could have did a lot more i could have did a lot more uh i was cutting grass I was <laughs> cutting grass, trash, cleanings. I, I, I dipped my hands in some things. Um, but it's nothing consistent, man. It's nothing consistent. And I need consistency right now, especially in the winter times. Like, I did the video. I'm doing the lime scooters right now. But in November, when it gets cold... You know, the scooters tend to slow down. So, excuse me. <coughs> Bless me. So, the scooters tend to slow down. And I need consistency. Like, if you see the, everybody see what's going on in the economy, things are high. There's no time to be stagnant, to... You know, there's no, I don't have, there's no 401k, no retirement plan, you know. This is the life of a 1099 contractor with no work or slight, in, you know, work available, work here and there, you know, not consistency. The one thing the medication was, was consistency. That's no longer here no more. And it could be back. You know, I applied to some, but things are tight. People is not, companies are not trying, the companies you really want, they're not really trying to hire people, you know, and if they is, they want entry level people. They want contractors with limited to no experience that they can teach, that they can set the pay for. Not people coming in with experience and say, hey, look, this is what I'm worth. And, you know, you're proposing the contract. You, I'm coming for this. I'm coming with this much experience. It's not available. Uh, so things are tight right now. In the economy, in the industry. And 
I got to do what I got to do. So I've been applying and got this. And from from this, uh, I'm going to work it the whole winter time. Um, I'm already saying, like, I got it. Whatever comes my way, I'm going to work that definitely through the winter time. Because uh, contracts are going to slow up even more as like they approach the holidays. You know, people is not trying to do business during the holidays. Temporary contracts, delivery, which I'm going to be doing those too. You know, definitely like holiday contracts. I'm going to catch those. But like, I'm looking for, I'm looking for some good, some good contracts, some three years, you know, things of that nature, something to lock in with. You know, these here and there's is good, but I, you know, I want something consistent or I want different sources, you know, different sources like what I was doing before the, the medication contract expired. So that's it, man. That's my update. I don't want to drag this out too long. It's been a bummer, man. I'm not going to sit here. I, I've been trying to, like, get my spirits up to do this video, but this is just the raw and real. It's a bummer, man. It's a bummer. Um, And, it, and just the timing of it, right when, you know, you I was in arm's reach of the side quests, the, the expansion. I'm going to keep calling it the expansion because I'm not going to. I ain't give up on it. I'm just, you know, it's stalled out right now, but it was right there. It's right there, but maybe it wasn't my time. Maybe I wasn't ready yet. Who knows? Who knows? Because a lot of stuff that has happened has been like, it's been, it's been this, it's been this, like, it's been, uh, oh, this happened. Nothing that I had to do with it. There was nothing in my control. And one of the lessons I'm learning is like, you have to trust the process and then you have to, you have to treat life like driving. You know, you try to anticipate what the other drivers are doing. You looking out, you know, oh, he, he's turned, he's getting in your lane with no blinker on, you know, stuff like that. So you have to, you have to really, treat your your life I would say your life that way but definitely speaking to like independent and being like 1099 being a business owner you definitely have to do that like you have to do that <laughs> you have to do that and if this wasn't like the 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 lesson the this wasn't the nail to hit the head I it, it, it stuck it's sticking now I know what to do I know what to do. Next next run I have, and I'm gonna say something coming up now, but I'm gonna definitely say by the beginning of next of 2025, I'm locking down something and then I'm steamrolling. It's not it's don't get complacent. Don't trust one source of income. And and that goes for people who work too, man. Don't trust one source of income, man. Don't trust one source of income. The whole way I started is one vision. One vision. Uh, one vision was how I started the the thing I had, and it started off of me being able. Like you don't have to be the jack of all trades, but you know I know how to wash cars. I had a radio station. I restore shoes. That was three different things right there that has nothing to do with each other. I can go on, but this is not that video. So one vision was built off of I built Dream Team, One Vision Dream Team, Dream Team Couriers. The vision was built off of people who was talented. But not using their talents. They just working a nine to five chilling. But he was the. This guy was the the neighborhood barber. He cut everybody hair. He's not cutting hair no more. He's you know. He working a nine to five. and But you know he good at cutting hair. 
why he's not cutting hair part time, you know? So, One Vision was started off of that. Dream Team Curry is was started off of that. And I'm going to get back to that. The next one. Soon. But whenever, definitely by 2025, I'm starting my next one. And these ideas I had when I got to, when I was doing the medication, now I'm like, all right, a year out, two years out. No, 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 no. It's going to be, I'm going to get it, stabilize it, expand. Next, the biz, that next business, get it, stabilize, expand. Get it, stabilize, expand. Don't depend on one source of income. That is the lesson I want everybody to learn, Rhea. Don't depend on one source of income. But I might do a part two or something. I don't want to talk too much. I got an AC code. This ain't a real code. This is just an AC code. Forgot to cut the AC down. Well, I could have got out of bed, but I was down, man. I was down. But it's your boy, Chapitan. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on IG. Follow my business page, Dream Team Couriers. Follow OVD Studios. I'm going to get that back up and running. I'm out, man. Peace.